Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you um, a collection that I made today. It took me a couple hours to do, and it, but it, the outcome was pretty cool. Um, I'm going to be doing a, just showing you guys all the characters that I made. From the movie Wizard of, Oz, of, Wizard of Oz, I created five of the main characters. Um, <laughs> sorry, not including Toto. I ran out of whites, and I'm sorry that you don't see Toto. Um, uh... He may come into one of my next, one of my closer, one of my next videos, and I'll show you what he looks like. I'll just take, make the Yorkie from, um, forget whose tutorial it was by, and I'll just do that, and that'll be Toto. Um, I'm gonna tell you as well where the bands that I use, what brand the bands I used are from, and um, what their col color is, and what. What brand they are? I don't know if I said that. So I'm just gonna start fresh. Um, so I'm gonna tell you what brand they are, where I got them, and what their precise color is. Um, so let's get started. So first off, this is one of my favorites, and it's a Tin Man. And as you see, it has a spout at the top, like in the movie, since it's an oil can, and the nose. And I'm gonna say also what they wanted to be, because all the characters pretty much wanted something. And the Tin Man, what he wanted was a heart. And I used silver metallic bands from either Loom Bands, I think. And they are actually rounded. And you'll be able to see them. It's like this. Isn't it so blurry? There. They are rounded. They break easily, though. And I also used clear jelly bands for my crossover. And the black beads I used were just normal. Don't know what meal meter they are, but they're just normal pony beads. So, I think I got these silver bands either online or at um, a store. If any store would be AC Moore um, and just some other retailer stores which may hold them. If you want to get them online, get them on Amazon or eBay. Yes, that was fast. This is one of my favorites. And... So my second favorite was this lion, which was created by the same person who created this charm, and that person was LQ Designs, and I will have her amazing channel linked down in the description box below, so you can see this. And the bands I use for this are like a maple color, that's what I like to call them. I would have liked to call them a caramel, because they kind of look do like caramel, but it's already a band color. And they're from Loom Bands. And I also have this brown, which is also from the Earth Collection. They're both from the Earth Collection from Loom Bands as well. And the problem with Loom Bands I found is that some of them, not these ones, because they're a specific texture. My hand is really shaking. Um, these, um, they kind of, what I call them is, what I call what happens is diluting. It's where after a while and um, stressful projects, like not stressful for you, but stressful for the bands, um, put a lot of stress on them, they'll kind of like break away. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense, but f yeah. <laughs> for the beads, I used 7mm pony beads for the eyes and they had shimmer on them, but I don't like shimmer, so I scratched it off. I thought it looked creepy for the eyes, but I like the shimmer for the pink on the nose. So that was my lion, and it took two looms. And all of my characters, which I made, were by LQ Designs. Again, I'll have her amazing channel link down below. Um, so the third character is the Wicked Witch of the West, and most of the comments I've had on her so far from my family is that she looks creepy with what eyes. Oops, sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I apologize for making Um, these, um, uh, the person in the video used white beads, but I thought I liked it too because it does look kind of creepy and which is supposed to be creepy. Um, the person, um, LQ did not originally use make a nose, but what I did was I just wrapped a lime green band, by the way, I used black from Rainbow Loom and lime green from Rainbow Loom, but I wrapped a lime green band around 
my hook four times and then I hooked on three capped um, lime green bands then attached them to a single band and I did her technique that she uses for her um, her um, other noses like for the lion and the tin man and my camera isn't focusing so you guys can't see I guess come on do it because I'm only working with an iPad so far I find that it works the best there I hope that's not going to be a problem I'm going to have in all my videos <laughs> okay so the next character everybody will know it's the main character in the Wizard of Oz and it's Dorothy she's the most recent one I made the last one I made um, and she was just basic which was probably the easiest, but she was probably the, Dorothy was probably the second easiest. And I used neon blue from Rainbow Loom, white from Rainbow Loom, a light tan from Loom Bands, metallic red from Rainbow Loom for Ruby Slippers, and caramel from Rainbow Loom. And then I used normal black pony beads, and they're kind of big. there and the bands I got here are Michaels get these at your like AC Moore Five Below Michaels um, or places like Louise and Company or Minds Alive or Mastermind if it's Rainbow and Brand you just get the Rainbow and Retailers online okay last but not least is this Scarecrow again I used the um, maple-ish color from Loom Bands Olive green from Rainbow Loom, um, and a brown earth tone from Loom Bands, and black from Rainbow Loom. So black and olive you can buy at Rainbow Loom retailer stores. This is a different brown than I used for the lion's head. This one's a bit more darker and matte, and this one's a bit more of like a has some sort of color shade. It's like a green almost shade in it. But they both look really nice. I prefer this one actually. But don't tell the brown. <laughs> I don't know what's into me. Um, and I use it the um, uh, normal sized pony beads for the eyes. So that was all my characters from The Wizard of Oz. I'm just gonna try and set them out. And I will get a let's get a um. Um, a shot of them zoomed out. Here's what they look like from above, and sorry that my the camera's a bit shaky now. Uh, my hands are shaky. That's what happens when it gets later in the day or in the night because it's about 7 o'clock p.m. And I'm going to quickly run through what all the characters wanted. It was a tin man that wanted the heart. Let's focus. You'll be able to see the Tin Man, but you already have. Um, the Scarecrow that wanted the brains. The witch that wanted to terrorize people. That's what she wanted. And Dorothy, who wanted to get home. And the lion that wanted courage. So that were my characters, and sorry you just saw my hand. Um, and I hope you make these, they're created by LQ Designs, though the same thing you should watch out for is you need to be able to follow along to a lot of side comments, I mean I like side how she did side comments, keeps me entertained, talks a lot about snow, so it's a really nice channel, and I will have it linked down below. So, see you in my next video, tomorrow I'm going to post a haul and some reviews of bands which I'm going to get. So, see you tomorrow.